Stories were emerging from Japan last week about how Toyota plans to introduce a solid state uh, electric vehicle battery by 2025. Now this is, would be a real game changer because now we're talking about 500 kilometers of range and a, a charge time of only 10 minutes. So basically puts it in the, the same kind of performance category as an internal combustion engine car. And so to talk about this, we're going to be discussing it with uh, Sam abel Samid of Guidehouse Research. So welcome to the interview, Sam. Hey, Mark, I'm good to be back again. Okay, what's your response to uh, this uh, story about uh, Toyota's impending announcement? Yeah, so what we are likely to see sometime next year is probably a concept vehicle that features solid state batteries. We've, we've actually been getting reports for probably about at least two years that, that the Toyota is uh, working on solid state and plans to introduce it in the first half of the 20s. And you know, it's, it, as we're getting closer, it's all starting to solidify. So we'll probably see the first concept next year sometime. Maybe you could explain uh, the different types of battery. What is a solid state battery? How does it differ from uh, the current lithium ion batteries? So it is still a lithium ion battery. The, the key differentiator is the electrolyte. The, the batteries that we use today typically have either a, a liquid or gel electrolyte that after you pack the, the anodes and cathodes and the separators into the, the cell, uh, you fill it up inject it with this electrolyte material that allows the electrons to flow back and forth. And that material, that, that electrolyte material um, that they use today, uh, it contain it, because it's not solid, uh, you know, it, it's possible for things to penetrate through it. So, for example, if you have a short circuit in the, in the cell, um, you know, the, it can allow anodes and cathodes to touch each other, form a short circuit, and that's what leads to uh, your thermal runaways, or your fires. And <clears throat> because um, the electrolyte material contains oxygen, when it heats up, it gives off oxygen, feeds the fire, makes it hard to extinguish a battery fire. Solid state cells, uh, that electrolyte material, once you inject it into the cell, it cures and it solidifies. Uh, and it's basically a, like a, it becomes like a ceramic type of material. And essentially, the entire cell becomes a solid block. So now things can't penetrate through that. You can't get um, you can't get the uh, short circuits in there, and that makes the whole thing more stable. Uh, allows you to charge at a much faster rate. Um, you know, so you can get that you know eighty percent charge in ten minutes uh, that they claim, uh, and uh, and and does it with, without uh, causing as much damage to the cell. Well, let's talk about those performance claims because. 500 kilometers uh, of range and a 10 minute recharge. It's kind of like the, been the holy grail and here we are already. Are, are, are you confident that Toyota will hit those numbers? Uh, I think it's, it's certainly plausible. Uh, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of very promising uh, research on uh, solid state cells. Uh, a lot of companies are working on it. Uh, and the, getting the higher energy density out of solid state cells I don't think is so much the challenge. The, the thing that has been the big stumbling block so far for a lot of these companies doing this work is actually uh, scaling up the, the, the power and, and scaling up uh, production. Uh, we've got a lot of companies, uh, we also heard last week from QuantumScape, releasing, uh, they're, they're backed by Volkswagen, releasing some of their data on their solid state cells. And what, what everybody's been able to do is produce small sample sizes, smaller cells. But scaling that up to a full-scale battery uh, for a vehicle has proven to be much more challenging. You know, solid-state cells are actually what uh, Dyson wanted to use uh, in their proposed EV, and they eventually abandoned it uh, because they, they could not get that scaled up. So I think if, if we can get the, the manufacturing scaled up so we can get, uh, have a vehicle-sized battery, then uh, it's, it's definitely possible. Sam, last question for you. Now, I've been interviewing uh, battery scientists for the last five years, and and, and this these chemistry uh, new new chemistries have been in the lab for you know five, ten, fifteen, twenty years. It seems to me that all of the battery advances that we're seeing uh, of late, and twenty twenty has been a huge year for for battery announcements. It's all been around the engineering, and is that a fair thing to say? Um. Yeah, you know, figuring out how to how to manufacture these things at large volumes, and while you know, also keeping them uh, stable and and safe, 
is the the big challenge you know and and how to reduce the costs so uh you know we understand the we understand how lithium ion cells work and and how to make them better but now it's a matter of how do we do it in the volumes required to build you know 80 to 100 million vehicles electric vehicles a year uh that's that's been the the big challenge okay last last question uh is it likely that we're going to see uh, these new uh, batteries, and we're talking about the Ultium for GM. We, you and I spoke about that a couple of weeks ago, and now we've got the solid state from Toyota. Uh, are we going to see the anticipated uh, sticker price parity with internal combustion engine cars by you know, the mid-2020s? Is that likely? I think that's that's very plausible. I think that there's a there's a strong chance that we'll get there. Um, you know, with GM's Ultium cells, you know, they're claiming they're going to be there uh, even before they get to solid state, just with lithium metal batteries. Um, and certainly, solid state cells are another step that'll help in that process. Um, and and GM's also working on solid state as as is everyone else. So I I think it's it's certainly plausible that we'll get there in that time frame. Sam, thank you very much for this. Really appreciate it. You're welcome, Markham. Have a great day.